say man hey man it's your boy do it all Harlem. we're back with another nba 2k24 next gen build video so today we have another one of those six foot ten bills man i know y'all like those bills so we got a six foot ten hybrid defender okay i know it sounds a little bit different being six foot ten like dang you can't get that much defense with a six ten yeah that's true but i still wanted to make the hybrid defender name with this build so um make sure you watch the video to the end so i can show you how i created this six foot ten big body bins hybrid defender choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice let's get it man but before i go any further you already know what time it is if you don't know now you know it's like button time and i need you guys to go down there and hit that like button get this video to 100 likes and if you haven't already hit the link in the description to join the discord hit the link in the description to follow me on twitch so with this particular build we have the small ford um six foot ten for the height of this build like i said 222 on the weight 76 wingspan let's get into it so we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing on this build right so with the finishing you have to keep in mind you are 610 so that means you do get the big man contact dunk. so we're not turning that down okay you, you can't turn that down if you're 610 you need to get that standard dunk to at least 83 okay the bare minimum i would go is 73 but i mean you know you only get fast twitch and rise up on uh bronze and you don't get the contact dunk so you want to focus on those contact dunks when you have a six foot ten bill simple as that don't don't i ain't taking no for an answer y'all better put uh, uh 83 to 85 to a 92 standing dunk on those six foot ten bills I, I mean that for real because i don't want you guys to get out there and you get under the goal you can't dunk you don't get no contact now nah, we don't want that it ain't fun trust me for the driver dunk we're going to take that to a 75 you don't need that super high you still get posterizer and you know you get some other badges too as far as the layup we're going to take that up to a 70 not too much on that um the close shot is going to go up to a 54 so we okay with that uh, let's go down to the physicals we're going to take the speed up take the acceleration up on um, the strength y'all know we do what we do on the strength uh we're going to take the vertical up to 80 because we did do um um an 87 shot blocking on this build so we want to go chase down artists okay so like i said we do get phys uh, we do get precision dunker fast twitch and rise up on silver we get area wizard on gold which is great for catching lobs and catching um i mean doing putbacks uh we have poster rise we have slither we have bunny we have whistle on bronze we got gold area wizard gold spin cycle silver two step silver precision okay and we got fearless finisher throw that in there throw acrobat in there too throw float game in there throw giant slayer in there scooper you feel what i'm saying we got a lot of good badges on this build right but let's go ahead and get to the green bean make your guru a screen badge now with this build you can't take the three-point shot past the 77 or else it would change the build night to a spot up threat i think we don't want that name right so what we did was we was able to get the three-point shot to a 77 and we was able to get the mid-range shot to a 84 so that's the difference right there man being able to get catch and shoot on goal that is going to take you to another level i promise you that's one of the best shooting badges to me on the game man catch and shoot this year is really really good so if you got that badge man you will um make more shots in my opinion okay so um that badge is on goal guard up is on goal come back here mid magician all on goal so that's pretty good right as far as the three-point shot we do have that at a 77 <coughs> excuse me um, that does give us some good badge as you can see if you take it down to a 75 um corner special to go to bronze you lose age of three we don't want that okay so you can actually leave it at a 76 if you want to but it might change the name of the bill i don't know i didn't check it out uh but uh 77 is what we have for this particular bill so um take it or leave it man it's up to you if you want the name then hey man do what i did but if you don't want the name go ahead and make some adjustment that's up to you and we also have a 71 free throw so you can make some free throws just in case you get fouled going to the rim or something like that but let's go ahead and get into the sauce but before we do i need you guys to do me a huge favor right Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody, mama, can see this video. And I need everybody, mama, to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to go ahead. I'm not speed with ball, but pass actually. We're going to take that to a 77, right? Because I had some extra points left because of the way that I set the defense up. So, um, I ended up doing the 77 pass accuracy for the people that like uh, passing. Um, you got bronze need a thread, a bronze touch pass, so you also get break start on silver, you get dime on silver, relay pass, and special delivery on silver. So, this is a really good passing build um, to be at the small forward position. So, you know, you can go out there and have some fun, make some passes on time on target to your teammates. You don't have to worry about throwing beast ball, but at the same time, 
even if you got high pass, and man, 2K will make you throw some beast balls, man. Simple as that. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, it is what it is on that. Some days the game play good, some days it don't. That's why I always play with a slasher, man. Even even sometimes the slasher don't play good. You know, it's like you don't do the dribble move you're supposed to do. It's a delay. Um, you don't dunk. You miss layups, man. I got so mad last night. I raised quitting everything, man. I was missing layups. The game was moving funny. Like, it was terrible, man. Like, it really make you question why do we play this game every day. I'm not going to lie. As far as the ball handle, we're going to take that to a 75. Uh, we're going to do a 69 speed with ball. So, we got Hall of Fame big driver. We got blow by. We got hyper drive and triple strike on this build. So, that's really good, man. You know, we can move around with this build. You don't have to be stuck at the three-point line, being a spot-up shooter, uh, being a corner sitter. You know what I'm saying? We don't want that build right there on the team. If you're going to just sit in the corner, you got to move around a little bit. As far as the ball handle, we're going to go ahead and um, get, well, not go ahead and get, but we have uh, physical handles on goal. We got uh, killer combos on this build as well, and you will get handled for days. Now, you can't get anchor breaker and speed boost, of course, because you are 6'10". If you go 6'9", you can get those badges, but that depends on what you want to do. Now, if you want those badges, hey, man, go down to 6'9", go down to 6'8", 6'7", so forth, so on. It's up to you. But um, at the small four, you know, you kind of want to be tall. You know, you see some 6'6", six, six small fours, but, um, you know, 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", is the way to go with those builds. But let's go ahead and get it to the defense, right? So, like I told you guys, I do want the 87 block on this build. I was going to do a 79, but I was thinking, like, hey, if I'm going to be a hybrid defender, man, that, I'm, I might be asked to guard some centers. So, uh, we did an 87 block. Um, that's kind of the the highest I would go, you know what I'm saying? But um, I do some builds with a 92. A 92 is super good, by the way. Um, but uh, 87 block does get the job done. You got chase down. You got anchor. You also have Pogo, so you will be able to block some shots with this build, no doubt about it, okay? As far as the interior defense, we went with a 74, so we can get Anchor on Silver. We can get Post Lockdown on Bronze, as you can see. As far as the perimeter defense, we're going to max that out at 82. Um, that does give us challenge on Silver. We got Anchor Braces uh, on Silver. We get Pick Dodger. We get Workhorse. So we got some pretty decent badges, even though we can't get clamps. Um, as far as the steel, we're going to max that out at 81. Bronze Glove, Bronze Right Stick Ripper, and Silver Interceptor. So that's pretty good, in my opinion. Now, on the rebound, I flipped this round. I don't normally do this, uh, but sometimes I do, depending on the build. So we had small four, so it's like, you know, you want some rebounding, but you don't necessarily have to be like a freaking... A freaking rebounding machine so we got 85 defense we got a uh, 50 on the offense so i don't normally do the the offense low and the defense high normally i flip them around but in this case you know some people like it like this i see a lot of people build like this so uh, we got gold box silver rebound chase so that's good 75 speed 65 acceleration 84 strength 80 vert and the rest is on strength. hold on what the hell? oh we got 74 free throw my bad and the rest is on strength. Now let's get into these shades up. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we do have shades of Lamar Odom. We got Buddy from the Wizards. I don't even know how to pronounce Buddy's name. We got Mike Porter Jr. in the build as a hybrid defender. That's the build I'm out of here, man. Ciao!